Hi, this is Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, really good to have you with me. Um, if you are returning, great to have you back. And if you're a new subscriber, then it's really good to have you join with us. Uh, today is going to be just a really simple little project. And it's, um, it's some ephemera that I'm working on or some bits and pieces that I'm working on for a um, woodland file folder or and a woodland possibly a woodland journal so <clears throat> i wanted to do some really basic um inserts for these ones so i've prepped a little bit and i'll just show you where we're at let me turn the light on it's a bit better <clears throat> Okay, so what I've done is I've got some file folder here and I've cut it and I've cut it at six inches by six inches and I've glued two pieces together so it's just there's a little bit more sturdy. And what I want to do with these is I want to cover them. I'm only going to do one on camera and I'll do the rest off camera, but we're going to need two for our project okay and I want to cover them front and back <clears throat> so I've got some of the papers that I've been working with here these are watercolour uh, woodland papers um, and these are from Victoria Designs um, really really beautiful so I want to work with some of these so 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 <clears throat> like I said I'm going to do one quickly on camera and the rest I will do off camera because I want to make a few of these. So just going to cut off our white bits. You'll notice my desk is reasonably tidy, not completely, but reasonably. So it's a good start. Um, I'm just going to cut this off. I can't get my big one out. It's um, my big cutter is. Well, I'm a bit of a tidy up for Christmas, I'm trying to put things away because we're going to be having a house full. So um, I'm going to be really limited to to the crafting that I can do. So I'm going to. Yeah, that's going to be okay. I think. So I'm going to cut this six by oops, a daisy, that's all my glues and my inks. So I'm going to cut this six inches. Um, let me just check that because as much as I love this little guillotine thing in a bobby, it's, um, it's dreadful because it, it cuts out on the six inches mark. So that's going to be six inches there. And then just check that that's okay. It's a tad big. So I'm going to take a little bit more off that. That should be better. Yep. And that needs to come up. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so that's our six inches by six inches. And all we're going to do is literally glue that in place. Um... Okay, the other way you can do it <clears throat> is for the inside. I'm just going to put a 
a load of glue on my card. And then just spread it around. And pop that on there. Just let that dry a moment. <clears throat> And then we want some for our back. I think I'm going to just do the same with this, to be honest. Just because I haven't got my big cutter, it's going to be easy, I think. <clears throat> Pop that up there. Which should be enough. No, it's not. So we're going to pop that over here. That's better. So again, I'm <clears throat> just going to let that dry and then we'll do the back piece. There's that one. <clears throat> Oops, I think I've got scissors out tonight. I'm in the conservatory, and um, <clears throat> anyone who's got a conservatory will tell you that they're too cold in the winter to do anything with, and in the summer they're too hot to do anything with. So they're a bit of a oddity. <laughs> it's, um, I think it's the 20th of December today. It's pretty cold. And I'm sat out here with uh, a vest top on. I am roasting. Okay. So, yeah. <clears throat> Which is uh, a bit odd. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly ink around this one and then we'll move on to the next one and I'll speed that up so you don't have to watch that whole process. <clears throat> okay. So we've got our front and our back. What we're now going to do is, if I can grab some. There we go. So, just got a piece of canvas type material. And all I'm going to do, I'm not going to be overly fussy with it being straight. I'm not measuring it. I'm just guesstimating it. And I am, um, yeah. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna glue my pieces on like this. Okay, so I'm going to use some fabric tack for that. And I'm just spreading that because it tends to show through less. Okay, so. Again, I'm not really measuring. I'm just trying to make sure I've got the same amount front and, um, you know, top and bottom. And then we're going to do this piece here. And we're going to do the same. 
but with this we're going to leave some space in between and again <clears throat> I'm not measuring it I'm just guessing it and it's going to be enough space to have some papers sewn into it that's literally all I'm going to be doing with that Okay, and I'm going to then, I wasn't going to, but I am going to pop this extra bit here up like that. I was going to just cut that off, but I think it might help um, being on there. So we'll keep it on just for now. Well, I'm saying we'll keep it on for now. Now I've glued it, it's not going anywhere. But okay. So we'll end up with a little bit of a booklet, <clears throat> journal type booklet. Okay. <clears throat> next. Okay, next, next, next. What's next? So I think next is going to be. I'm going to be putting some lace on the inside of this. Um, I don't really know what kind of lace I'm going to be using. These are all my snippety things. So I might put something like that on there. Although that does look a bit big, what would that look like on the outside? That'll go okay, actually. Okay, so I'm going to cut this here. And hope, yeah, that it'll do both bits. So I'm going to start off by putting this on the inside first. off the excess once that's dried. Now the next thing we're going to do is, and I've already done this um, in preparation, is we're going to get our uh, signature papers and all I've done with these, I'm not sure how many I've used, uh, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So I've used 10 pieces of tea dyed paper and I've literally just cut them down to size <clears throat> so that they'll fit inside here. And that's how I've cut them. And just literally folded those over. So 10 pieces will give us 40 sides. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this end bit off. And then what we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is we're going to stitch these in to our book, okay? So I'll just get my needles. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. This weather creates havoc. This is just um, waxed 
cotton. Um, it's probably the one I find I use the most. Oh, I've lost a needle. So <clears throat> I'm not going to be overly fussy with this and I'm not going to measure because it literally is just a case of stitching these in. So I'm just going to create, let me just position these right first. I will pop one of these on. <clears throat> these are really useful just for keeping everything in place. And um, while you're doing your stitching, so I do tend to use these if I can. Okay, so I'm just going to put three holes in here. So one, two, which that was hard work, three a bit easier <clears throat> and I'm just going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch now people do these differently everybody does them differently um, <clears throat> I go in in the middle I come back through if I can come back through the top I then go back through the middle which not a lot of people I've seen do. Um, and then I come through the bottom. Okay. And then I make sure everything is relatively tight. I've got to change these needles because they do cut into the pa paper quite a bit. Um, so I'm just going to do that like that. Sorry I got disturbed then and I don't know what I've done here now. I don't think that, yeah that's okay. So just pull those, not too tight but tight enough. like that. And it really is a simple three hole pamphlet stitch. And then all I'm going to do, you can leave these longer if you want to and add some beads or some um, tassels or whatever. Now you can leave it like that if you want to. Um, it looks okay, looks quite tidy. But I am going to put another piece of lace or whatever you call this stuff on top. And again, I'm just going to cut this excess off. And again here. And that is 
just really simple little hardcover cover journal that I will be using to pop inside my um, my proper journal or my file folder, uh, whichever I decide to use at the time. But really, really simple. Um, but really quite cute. Uh, and you could embellish this then up as much as you want. You can put corner plaques on it, you can put a book plate on it, you can literally um, play to your heart's content. But for a really simple, basic piece that I can pop inside of a journal, this is perfect. If you want to use this as a standalone piece, then you can just put a closure on it whatever clothes you want. If you want to put some eyelets in here and some tie it by here, you could put an elastic that goes around uh, with a nice little button on or around this side here with a nice little button, you know, literally however you want to close or keep that closed. But just a really simple little booklet to go inside of my journal. So that's it. Um, I'm going to try and keep some of these videos really short and sweet. And... Um, yeah, I think sometimes it's just easier, isn't it, to uh, to follow along with. But um, I hope you uh, enjoyed that. I hope you uh, got something out of it. And um, that is it for today. I will leave it there and say to you, as always, uh, be well and stay safe. And I will catch you in the next video. Until then, bye for now.